Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is again on the request of a student and uh, the chapter here is the transformer equivalent circuit and voltage regulation uh, from Mr. Chapman's book article 2.5 and 2.7. Uh, I'll be solving question number 2.6 and chapter question. Although his request is for question 2.7 from the fifth edition uh, I have fourth edition books so it's, it's the same question I saw uh, except for my, uh, minor variation in the values so if you understand this I'm sure you'll be able to solve that question as well okay before we uh, go to the uh, problem solving just recall um, this is the model of a real transformer. So this is a transformer. This is the primary side and this is secondary side uh, with all its resistance impedances uh, given. And uh, if you have not read it, you better read this from the book or from my video on equivalent circuit. Okay, now in that video uh, we had mentioned that we got to be on the same voltage level. Now the primary voltage is high and the secondary voltage is low if it is a step down transformer or vice versa. So we, what we want that we should have same voltage level in the circuit. Therefore, in this case, we are transforming the secondary side into the primary side. So the equivalent circuit will become like this. Again, I will not go into the details. You have to see my previous video for this. So this transformer model referred to its primary voltage level or the left hand side of the circuit. Now the, this branch is called excitation branch. So the excitation branch has a very small current and can be neglected especially for voltage regulation calculations. So this can be neglected and if you neglect this our circuit will be just the upper part and if we add the real portions and the imaginary portions we'll have our um, equivalent here and J equivalent and it is given here REQ is RP that is the primary resistance and plus A square RS and similarly XEQP. So we'll be using this circuit to solve um, this question. Now let's read and try to understand the questions. 15 kVA, 8230 distribution transformer. I hope you know what is a distribution transformer. The transformer that is used to supply voltage to our residences, our houses. So one side is 230 and in this case the, uh, the other side or the uh, high side is 8000 volts. This transformer has an impedance referred to the primary uh, 8 plus J30. So this is the, we'll see in the diagram what does this mean. And the component of the excitation branch refers to the primary side is this given. So let's have a look here in the diagram. Okay, so what he is saying is that the impedance referred to the primary side, so this impedance which is secondary impedance referred to the primary side is AT plus J300 and RC and XM given, so RC and XM given. Also from this we can calculate the transformer turn ratio, we know that it is uh, designated as A and it is the ratio of the primary voltage over secondary voltage uh, so the turn ratio is now 34.78 okay now as we mentioned that we can neglect this the excitation branch so our circuit will be simply like this we are also neglecting uh, this one here so this is the simplified circuit that we'll be using to solve this problem. What we have to find if the primary voltage is 796 volt, so the primary voltage is 796 volt and the total load impedance is this value. 
so the load impedance is here what is the secondary voltage of the transformer so we have to find the secondary voltage remember this voltage after the transformation is a times vs because v is on the secondary side when we moved into the primary side we have to multiply it by the turn ratio okay so we have to find the secondary voltage that is only vs and then we have to find the voltage regulation so this is the first part and the second part if this load is disconnected so we are disconnected now this is uh, uh, a resistive inductive load if we disconnect this and we connect a simple capacitor here of this value then again we have to find the secondary voltage of the transformer and we have to find the voltage regulation so let's proceed as i mentioned this when we talk of the load and the question is just given this load is with the secondary side connected at the secondary side and this is the actual diagram of the transformer primary side and secondary side but what we have done we have transformed this whole thing to the primary side so we have to transform this load also to the primary side and you know to transforming this on the primary side we have to multiply impedance multiply by a square so zl which is the new impedance after it has been transformed to the primary side will be a square that is um, turn square multiplied by zl and this zl so we putting in the value of the a which is 34.78 square and zl from here and solving this is zl dash so now our circuit will look like this that with this we have connected the transformed load transformed to the primary so this is the load and now we have to calculate this voltage so it's very simple you can see this one voltage and the impedances so this voltage is primarily the voltage across the load so we can use okay so we are here this is the input voltage impedance this is the load impedance and now we have to find the secondary voltage of the transformer so in this case in this circuit what we can find is a time secondary voltage or avs which in some books it is also called vs dash i'm just keeping it like this and so by simple voltage division rule we can find this voltage which is the voltage across this so by vdr input voltage divided by total impedance that is this plus this and multiplied by the impedance across which we have to find the voltage so we multiply this and the answer by using your complex mode calculator in complex mode you can find it in one simple step and if you don't know how to do this i have a video on this so please go through that video it will be very easy okay so now this is avs and from here we can calculate the secondary voltage vs so the actual secondary voltage vs is avs divided by a so this is avs and divided by a is 34.78 so 218.8 volt is the secondary voltage angle minus 3.1 so this is the first part now we come to the voltage regulation of the transformer now the voltage regulation is defined the voltage regulation of a transformer is defined as the change in the secondary terminal voltage so keep this in mind you can do it with the primary but it is better that we follow this that we'll go for the secondary terminal voltage from no load to full load now this is very very confusing what is full load okay we'll just keep in mind that it is actually any load for which we are calculating in our our case this is the load so what he is saying is that we have to first of all find no load here connected so this voltage whatever is the voltage this will be 
the no load voltage and you can see we have VP7967 here divided by the transformer ratio then we can get V no load okay now this is the formula that is used that the voltage regulation is Vs that is the secondary voltage no load minus Vs full load or we just say load divided by Vs full load into 100 percent. Now Vs you can see from here Vs is actually Avs over A and Avs is nothing but Vp over A. A Vs no load is Vp over A. From here you can see Vs no load is what? Vp divided by A is the secondary voltage. So if it is let's say at 2000 and the transformer ratio is 10 then 2000 divided by 10 you get 200. So that is no load. So uh, for Vs no load we are writing Vp over A minus this remains Vs full load and Vs full load. So either of the formulas uh, we can use. Now as I mentioned that Vs no load can be written as Vp over A. So we'll use that. we have used that. And then we full load is with this load connected whatever is the voltage now we are getting that is called V as full load. Okay. So first of all V as no load is Vp over A. Our Vp is 796 here. Here 796 divided by the turn ratio 34.78. So 229 is the V as no load. Now what is Vs full load? From here we had calculated Vs full load. So Vs actually is Vs full load which is 218.8. So 218.8 and divided by Vs full load. And keep in mind, don't get confused. When it is saying full load, you just keep in mind that it is just any load. Any load that you connect that will be the full load for that particular scenario. So from here we find the VR to be 4.69%. Okay, the next part is that simply replacing the load by a capacitor and we need to find the same parameters. So what we have done, ZL dash we have calculated, A square is ZL, ZL in this case is J40, so this is ZL dash, ZL dash we have connected here and again we find the AVS or the this part of the voltage by VDR. So by VDR we find this voltage to be 8492. And to get Vs, we again follow this same formula, Avs divided by A. So V secondary is 244.2. Remember this V secondary is V full load in this case. And how much is V no load? This is the same technique or same value actually. It was 299 in the previous case we had calculated. So we'll use that 299. And this is V uh, full load here. So the answer in this case is negative regulation minus 6.22. Now you will uh, uh, later on uh, maybe you study on your own why we are getting negative regulation. Normally what happens that whenever you connect a load with the capacitor because of the current flow there are drops in the line and that is why <coughs> the voltage here will drop. It will not be the same as of no load voltage. And that is why we get a regulation of let's say 4% or 5% which is a positive value. Now in this case a capacitor has been connected and as you know that the capacitor stores charge and that is why this voltage is more than the 
no load voltage it is 244 and that is why the regulation is negative which is minus 6.22 percent so i hope this gives you an idea how we can solve this problem uh, easily by following these steps thank you